Hi, welcome to Hard Reset Info Channel, dear viewers. In front of me, Xiaomi Redmi A1 Plus device, and now I'm gonna show you how to bypass FRP on this smartphone. And let's start. Okay, so um, great. Uh, as you can see, here I have Redmi A1 Plus, and uh, here I have our website. And here you just need to find Redmi A1 Plus. Try to find your device. As you can see here, we have A1 Plus. Now scroll down, find by bypass Google FRP. And here we have instructions, uh, instruction of how to bypass FRP. But here we have a manual for Android 12 uh, and MIUI 12 too. So now we have the manual for Android 12 and MIUI 13. So, but we have now prepared uh, the manual for uh, for, for uh, Xiaomi A1 Plus. We have prepared for Redmi 12C. But when you are watching this video, I I, I think uh, this manual is prepared. So, okay, Redmi 12C. Scroll down, find here bypass Google verification, and here we have. Okay, as you can see. Uh, so here you need to, I don't know when you will watch this video. And now, for example, this security patch uh, 11 and 2022 is the latest with MIUI 13. So this is the latest version of the bypass Google verification. And I'll sh I'm showing you how to find instructions because in this way you will be able to find latest instruction uh, even when we have no new video. So great. So here we have uh, bypass Google verification on Redmi 12 C uh, and let's start. So first thing to connect to the Wi-Fi network, I have just connected to the Wi-Fi network. Um, I have tried to, to record this video but my SIM card was without the PIN and now I have prepared a SIM card with the PIN lock. So as you can see here we have Wi-Fi network with internet access and SIM card with PIN code. So my SIM card was without the PIN and we need the PIN code for, for, for this manual. So great. Connect to the Wi-Fi network as you can see I'm connected and now just insert the SIM. So insert the SIM card into your A1 Plus. Great, and as you can see, device is asking for the password. Oh my gosh. I hope, okay, one, two, three, four, boss. Okay, and now enter your pin and scroll from up to down to open the control panel and then click settings. Okay, let's go. So we are in settings. Now scroll down, find your additional settings and accessibility, find accessibility and choose here, enable, we need to enable accessibility, yes. Wait a while. Of course, you have paid a uh, version of uh, unlocking FRP. This is uh, our paid uh, paid method. So you just need to connect your your phone to the PC and click on the one button. But you need to pay for it. And now we are showing how to do it for free. So uh, great. Uh, now accessibility. Then choose accessibility view menu and accessibility shortcut hello okay okay now as you can see uh, we need to uh, open apps and go to YouTube yeah yes so now go back find the apps here and find manage apps and find the YouTube here Find the YouTube, here choose notifications, then scroll down and here choose additional settings in the app. Great, and now we need about the help. Uh, 
and here to uh, enter delete or disable enter disable just disable and here as you can see we have delete disable and manage used apps uh, and we have unused apps so we have unused apps so we have oh oh my gosh i have two similar features so i hope unused so I will, I, I will choose one of these, I don't know uh, with the difference, I think there is no difference between these two points. So great, tap to go application settings, click on it, go go next, next, uh, next page, next step, all apps, and here we will need to disable Android setup, first step, and disable Google service, yep, yep, and then we just need to reboot our device and enable it later okay so it's very easy to do so find your android setup click first step okay now go back find here uh, google play services uh, click disable disable and find it again google play services is disabled first step okay now click and hold together power button and volume up button reboot your device click reboot wait a while then we will need to open wi-fi next don't copy and we'll see google uh, google login boot loop so google will not uh, opens because Google services are disabled. We will need to click on this accessibility button we have just enabled. Then choose Google uh, settings and enable. But we will need to do it very, very, very fast. Uh, so, and if you will not, uh, if you will try, and you will notice that. You can't do it, just try again. You need to try it several times. So great, hard reset info, as you can see I'm connected, so click next. Next, now wait for don't copy. Wait for it. Okay, now click don't copy. And great, and now we have uh, we have a Google bootloop. As you can see, che checking for updates, and as you can see here we have really just simple bootloop. Just a sec, checking for updates, just a sec, checking for update. So this is the bootloop. So now click on this button and quickly click Google Assistant. Okay, settings, enable. No. Settings. Oh, it's enabled. So go back. Disable the voice assistant. And great. We have successfully bypassed the Google verification. As you can see, it's too easy to do. Um, and you don't need to have any tools. You don't need to have a computer. You don't need to have PC or root access, you don't need to flash something. So it's very, very easy to do without any tools. Scroll down, click OK. OK, complete, complete and... Great, that's it. So thanks for watching, now you can just to log in to your Google account and use your uh, use your smartphone without without oh okay so now as you can see uh, my device is is buggy so checking in for checking in for so now just 
open any Google account, as you can see, we have no buttons here on our device. So to enable this button, so as you can see, I don't need, so, oh, okay, I have the buttons. So great, go back, go back. So if you have no buttons, you just need to uh, reload your device, then, then open settings, scroll down, just scroll down, click, uh, uh, so sorry, uh, click about phone, scroll down, click factory reset, and just erase some data. So in this way, you will remove all from all Google account on your device, but I have removed all without factory resetting. Now I can just sign into the Google account, but my Google Play services is uh, updating right now. So I can't open Google service. I can't or I can. I can, I will show you that I can to log in. So for example, So as you, can see, uh, as you can see, I can easy to log in into account. Click next. Who will use? I will use. Uh, agree, agree. And So just try to factory reset your device. I will factory reset it, but I will do it later. So great, that's it. I, I hope I have helped you uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching, bye.